Okay, my name is Alex. Welcome to our channel at EO's Marketplace. There. So, um, hello for to the watchers out there. Okay, who's watching this video? Hello to our subscribers, my friends. Hello. Okay, so guys, for today, I will be giving you the price analysis as of November 19. Right, so I'm sure that you like to hear about what's the status, what are the ten, um, the top ten crypto currency for the uh, for this time, right? So let's start. Um, this news is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News, Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero. Tron and IOTA price analysis as of November 19. Oh, there were changes, right? <clears throat> After a period of three days, the crypto markets have resumed their downtrend. Congrats! Total market capitalization of the crypto universe has dipped below $170 billion, which is a new yearly low. Following the increase in volatility and the renewed downtrend, some an analysts have projected abysmally low prices for Bitcoin. When the sentiment is negative, such forecasts can scare new investors away and also force the weaker hands to dump their holdings. In its short trading history, is this the first time that Bitcoin has fallen about 74% from its peak? No, according to Charlie Bellello, Director of Research at Pension Partners, the digital currency has twice plunged by 94% from its highs and again risen from the ashes. The third burst fall was 85% from its then highs. This shows that, um, that the asset class has experienced massive falls before. It is just that this time, Bitcoin is more in the limelight than on previous occasions. So during bear markets and periods of panic, the fundamentals take a backseat and the markets are driven only by sentiment. Though such periods offer an opportunity to load up for the long term, it is better to wait for the decline to end before buying because prices can go abysmally low during panic selling. So. Guys, what are the lower levels that can attract buyers? Let's find out. First, BTC and USD. After a three-day break, the bears are back with a vengeance. Bitcoin has plummeted below the support of $5,450 with ease. So failure of the bulls to pull back to $5,900 level shows selling pressure on every small rise. So the 20-day EMA and 50-day SMA have turned down and the RSI is deep in the oversold territory. This shows that the sellers continue to pound the BTC and USD pair without even waiting for a pullback. If the bulls fail to provide support at the important psychological level of $5,000, the fall can extend to $4,700 and below that to $4,100. However, the reading of about 15 on the RSI shows that the selling has been overdone and a pullback can happen anytime. The strength of the pullback will provide an insight on whether the decline has ended or if there is more to go. Now, when the price is correcting, it is difficult to predict where it will stop. So, hence, we shall watch each support level closely. We will wait for the decline to end and a new buy setup to form before attempting to buy again. Until then, it is best to remain on the sidelines and avoid catching a falling knife. <laughs> right. Okay, XRP and USD. So Ripple continues to be one of the stronger cryptocurrencies as it is trading well above its recent lows. The moving averages are flat and the RSI is close to the midpoint. This points to a range bound action between $0.40 to $0.565. A breakdown of the uptrend line and $0.40 will be negative and can result in a fall to $0.37185 and below that 
to zero point two six nine one three dollars. If the bulls break out of zero point five six five dollars, the XRP and USD pair can move up to zero point six two five dollars, and above that to zero point seven six four four zero dollars. So traders should keep an eye on this as it has been holding out well in this recent fall. Next, ETH and USD. So Ethereum is taking it on the chin, seeing a new yearly low breaking below the intraday low at $167.32 made on September 12th. Okay, if the price closes below $167.32, it will resume the downtrend that can drag the ETH and USD pair to the next support of $136 and $110. That declining 20-day EMA and the RSI is the oversold territory. Um, territory show that the path of least resistance is to the downside. However, if the bulls support the digital currency at the lower levels and push prices back above $167.32, it can rise to the 20-day EMA. So we shall wait for a trend reversal to be signaled before proposing, proposing a trade. Next, XLM and USD. So Stellar has broken down of the ascending channel. If the price closes below the support line, the drop can extend to 0 0.21494424 dollars, and below that to 0 0.204007 dollars. So failure to the bulls to capitalize on the breakout of the descending triangle pattern is a bearish sign. The XLM and USD pair will resume its downtrend if the bears sink it below the critical support at $0.184. The flat moving averages and the RSI just above the 41 levels point to possible range formation. While the upper end of the range is at $0.30, the bottom of the range is yet to establish a breakout above $0.30. Zero five dollars is likely to signal a trend reversal. Next, my favorite EOS and USD. So, after struggling to stay above 4.493 dollars, EOS plunged below the support and also broke below the next level of 4.1778 dollars. The final support is at $3.8723, below which the digital currency will form a new year-to-date low. The 20-day EMA is sloping down, ooh, and the RSI is in the oversold territory, which shows that the balance is um, tilted in favor of sellers. Below $3.8723, the next support is at $3. So the EOS and USD pair will show its first signs of strength if it breaks out of the moving averages and the downtrend line. So we suggest traders wait for the decline to end and a new buy setup to form before initiating any long positions. Okay, next, LTC and USD. Litecoin seems to be falling into a bottomless pit as it continues to make new lows. Um, with today's fall, it has broken down of the support at $40. So both the moving averages are trending down and the RSI is in the oversold territory, which shows that the bears are in command. Its next support is at $32. We anticipate an attempt to bounce off the support at $30 to $32. So with the recent fall, the technicals of the LTC and USD pair have been damaged. It will have to enter into a period of consolidation before a new uptrend can start. So ADA and USD. After holding $0.060105 for the past five days, Cardano broke down of the support, making new lows. Its next support is $0.043722. So the RSI has entered deep into the oversold territory, which has previously resulted in a pullback. 
However, the ADA and USD pair will continue to face selling on every recovery. Traders should wait for the decline to end and buyers to return before attempting to buy it. Alright, so guys, it is saying that we must, okay, we must be be careful in doing move, doing a move. Alright, continue. XMR, XMR and USD. So the bounce from $81 levels on November 15 was short-lived as it did not find follow-up buying. So today, Monero nosedived below the support at $81. If the bear succeeds in closing the price below the support, it will be the lowest in more than a year. So the breakdown can result into in a fall to the next support at $61.50. We anticipate a strong support close to the $60 to $61.5 uh, $61 level. So, however, with both moving averages sloping down and the RSI in oversold territory, every pullback will be met with strong selling. The XMR and USD pair will have to spend a long time in the forming um, a bottom before a trend reversal is signaled. All right. Next, um, TRX and USD. So, Tron has broken down of the range it had been trading in since August 8, which is a negative sign. It has resumed its downtrend that can push prices to the next support at $0.0084449 if the support at $0.0158768 breaks down. So the RSI is deep in the oversold territory which can result in a pullback back, but with the 20 day EMA sloping down the TRX and USD pair will face stiff resistance at 0.0183 and above at the moving averages. Our bearish view will be negated if the bulls quickly reverse, um, if the bulls quickly, where will I? Okay, if the bulls quickly reverse prices within the next couple of days and sustain above 0.0183 dollars. Last but not the least, IOTA and USD. IOTA is currently trading inside a descending channel. It has again dropped to close $0.3501, from which it had bounced on November 14. So if the bulls succeed in achieving a bounce once again, the IOT and USD pair might rise above $0.4037. On the other hand, if the bear same price is below $0.3501 level, the slide can extend to the next support at $0.32 and below that to $0.23. Alright, so guys, that has been the price analysis for November 19. Okay, so guys, I know that you like, you'd like to be um, updated and be the first one to get notified. So please visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now for subscribing you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates you can use PayPal for a monthly recurring for only $15 per month via or you can use the Coinbase option that's $180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto so guys you can contact us if you have concerns queries and questions you can contact us directly on the website. Your name and email is the only thing that is required. And of course, your message. Or if you like to contact the man um, behind Preferred Currency News, his name is Donald Lewis or Donald the Guru. You can call his number at 1-801-601-8105. WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939. His Skype ID is Donald.FCDA. You can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. Telegram channel, um, you can join our Telegram channel, which is Preferred Crypto.News. And you can send a private message to Donald Lewis at Preferred Crypto on Telegram. Alright, so guys, if you become one of our, um, if you become one of our um, subscribers, 
you can become one of our affiliate. You just need to click this one and then it will take you to the page where it says how. Alright, so guys, let me show you what will you be getting if you subscribe. Okay, you will be receiving a newsletter every day. Okay, newsletter every day that's via email. Um, 12 hours before we upload videos here on YouTube. So guys, this is the newsletter that you'll be getting. Of course, um, the news of the day is available, right? The articles of the day. So not just one, but a lot. But don't worry because if you click continue reading, it will take you to the, um, the website that has a lot of news and articles, okay? And if you like to read previous news, it's also in the newsletter. You can just click one of these months right here. All right. So, <clears throat> okay, here. Okay, see? There's a lot that you can read. Okay. It's also categorized. All right. Now, going back, guys, I want to introduce you to Donald's research list. Okay, let's check this out. So, guys, Donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet, but only here at preferredcurrency.news. So, maybe you're asking, and then, or so what, right? Guys, Donald's research list can make our lives easier and makes our lives convenient. Why? Because this spreadsheet gives us every data that we need to keep track of the tokens or coins because donald's research list is a list is a complete list of the tokens and coins and it is and their status okay it is actually updated every day so you do not need to worry about anything when it comes to um keeping track of your coins right um if you subscribe, you will be receiving, okay, the newsletter with the Donald's research list. And if you like, you can have a copy of the Donald's research list every day. So you don't need to think, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of time researching and researching, um, remembering a lot of websites for you to check or to know what's the status of a specific coin or token. All right, so. Here, let's check. As of November 20, 2018, Bitcoin's recent price is 5,177.79988667. Share total market volume is 0.31724679. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 44%. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, four. 24 hours volume versus price it's 5.24 7 days volume versus price it's 2.78 30 days volume versus price it's 3.61 and percent issued it's 82.78 percent all right see so guys here let me show you it is really a complete list now if you like to know for example let's see eos How's EOS going? Control F. Just press Control F and then type EOS. There. So for EOS, as of November 20, its price is 4.11002158. Share total market volume is 0.0574592. 88% for Google searches for to the past seven days. It's crossing down 50 like Bitcoin. Number of positive technical indicators, 4. 24 hours volume versus price, it's 4.14. 7 days volume versus price, it's 2.78. 30 days volume versus price, it's 6.82. And percent issued, it's 90.06%. Right? That easy. So, guys, um, by the way, this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell. Okay? Um, we believe here at um, preferredcurrency.news that you need to research each one for yourself and then you can decide after. Alright? So, 
guys that's it for today and i hope you have taken down notes and i hope that you enjoy my video if you have questions concerns or any queries you can leave that one on the comment section down below all right so thank you so much and please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe all right so this has been alex saying good night and take care